This is not the common paint growth you learn in school. In my version, the terrain paints the grass, the grass creates the mood, and the mood completely consumes my social life. For years, I've been working on two main techniques. Celeste grass that gets its colors directly from hand-painted textures, and fluffy bushes and trees built with a billboard system. Both are simple and, most importantly, they capture the dreamy, painterly vibe you see in Ghibli films. So tell me, do you vibe more with the serious documentary tree or the daydreaming fairy tale tree? Let me know in the comments. We can start with grass. My approach is simple, a bunch of triangles and paint the ground like a canvas. Textures that look like someone went wild with a giant green and yellow paintbrush. Then our grass mesh generates the color of the terrain directly underneath. The result? Each tuft of grass automatically matches the soil it grows on. If the terrain is a soft pastel green, the grass is pastel green. If the terrain has golden highlights, the grass picks those up too. This makes the whole environment feel cohesive, almost as if the ground and the grass were painted together in one illustration. Of course, we don't want a lawn that looks like a flat carpet. So, I scatter turfs with variation in scale, rotation and density. For motion, I keep it even more simple. A single note called simple wind grass. And here it is. The real magic is efficiency. Because the color comes from the terrain itself, I don't need dozens of grass textures. Change the terrain painting and instantly the grass adapts. It's fast, painterly and feels alive. So the ground is covered in life, but what's an environment without trees? Time to go fluffy. My trees and bushes don't rely on thousands of detailed polygons, they rely on simple quad polygons, combined with hand-drawing leaf cards, arranged in layers around the trunk. This is called a billboard system, and it's my favorite trick for stylized foliage. At first glance, it looks simple, maybe even too simple, but once you rotate, scale and overlap enough of these billboards, the silhouette turns into a full round shape. From most angles, the eye reads volumetric, even though it's just cleverly placed 2D textures. To make them feel extra fluffy, I keep the leaf texture soft and rounded, avoiding harsh edges, add some color variations and darker spots in some points, and let a little wind animation ripple across the planes. It's cheap, it's efficient and it's give me exactly the aesthetics I want. Airy, pantly trees that could have walked straight out of a studio Ghibli background. Now here's the fun part. I don't even model the tree from scratch. Blender literally gives me a free add-on that spits out a trunk and some branches in seconds. It's basically a press button receive tree situation. And yet somehow people think I worked really hard on it. Don't tell them. The add-on handles the boring technical side, so I can focus on the fluffy magic. I replace the default leaves with our billboard's magic, soften the silhouettes and tweak the UVs so the light wraps around the leaves. Suddenly the free procedural tree looks like it was hand-painted by you-know-who. Bushes are just smaller versions of the same trick. Low trunks, tight clusters and plenty of softness in the silhouette. The best part is that the billboard systems scale beautifully. From close-up they look detailed, from far away they hold their fluffy silhouette without needing high geometry. Together, these two techniques, terrain-driven grass and billboard foliage, create a world that's both efficient and magical. The grass feels natural because it's tied to the ground painting. The trees feel dreamy because they are soft, light and fluffy. And the whole environment, it looks less like a simulation of reality and more like a painting you can step into. That's the style I've been chasing, and honestly, I think I'm getting closer.